intertwined for centuries Mormons and Masons. Both trace their lineage back to King Solomon's temple. Yeah, Sean, a religion, fraternity, it's got mystery, intrigue, speculation, rumor. What's real? What is a myth? Could it be they're one and the same? Well, tonight we take an inside look inside the doors of the Masonic Temple here in Utah, and we examine the strange historical ties that bind Mormons and Masons. Secret rituals, mysterious symbols, endowments, temples, two different groups, one religious, one fraternal, intertwined through history. How closely related are Mormons and Masons? The answers might surprise you. A Mason is a man who believes in deity, however he expresses that. He can be a Mormon, a Muslim, a Methodist, that's up to him. Membership lists are secret, so too are Masonic modes of recognition and passwords. But a secret society? Our building stands on about a quarter block. Uh, it says Masonic Temple outside of it. Not terribly secret. Many of us wear pins, we wear rings, we have car decals, we have websites. None of that seems secret. Glenn Cook happens to be the first member of the LDS faith to be elected Grand Master of the Salt Lake Lodge in over 100 years here in Utah. The ritual that we're performing. But most of what goes on inside this temple is for Masons only. And many Masons and Mormons came together in those temples back in the 1800s. Masonry really uh, took root in Nauvoo and... Uh, by the end of 1843, there were between 1,500 and 2,000 Latter-day Saints that uh, belonged to the Masonic fraternity. The Masons were not always inclusive when it came to the Mormon religion. The rift intensified when Joseph Smith, a Nauvoo Mason, started taking liberties with certain Masonic ceremonies. LDS historian Ken Godfrey. Joseph Smith was accused of violating his Masonic oath and pledges by... Uh, initiating women into the Masonic order. It is a test. If a man cannot keep secret something as simple as a handshake, as a password, how can I trust him with the more important obligations? Was Joseph Smith's death a punishment for betraying his Masonic oath? Brigham Young was absolutely convinced that Joseph Smith was giving the Masonic distress signal at the time of his death and that no Masons in, in the group uh, were willing to respond and, and come to his aid. Were the Mormons and Masons involved in a power struggle over ideology or ritual? Both trace their rites and ceremonies back to King Solomon's temple. Now if you compare the temple endowment with Masonry, there's about 40 words and phrases that are the same in both ceremonies. And they're so much the same that you would probably have to uh, uh, take the stand that those were borrowed by Joseph Smith. Most Masons agree that any Masonic involvement in Smith's death was coincidence, a coincidence that further divided the two groups. So the flavor you get is that Masons killed Joseph Smith, a brother Mason, who were then judged by Masons and acquitted of their crime. Now that leaves a bad taste in your mouth. For 60 years, Mormons and Masons did not mix. The Masons lifted the ban on Mormon membership in 1984. We as a fraternity have put behind us the animosity that existed at that time. Still, the intrigue surrounding Freemasonry remains today. Dan Brown's book, The Lost Symbol, about a missing Masonic treasure, is a bestseller. Jack the Ripper was said to be Sir William Gull, a Freemason with ties to the royal family. The all-seeing eye on the dollar bill as a Masonic symbol, and many founding fathers like George Washington were active Freemasons. Some even say the Freemasons have infiltrated all segments of society and government and ultimately control the course of history. Is it true? Does something ever come into play where it's time for us to act? It's time for Masons in certain positions to take the, take the reins and move this country in a different direction? No, there, there is no organization of Masons where we say it's time to step in and correct the political system or the current political view. That's not something that we do. But Masons do seem to enjoy the mystery of it all, especially those parts that can't really be proven one way or the other. Some are speculation founded on speculation, uh, confirmed by nothing. 
Others are very factual. They take elements of history and then spin a good yarn out of it, and that's great. As long as we remember that those are fiction based on fact. But Masons still covet their secrets, a practice familiar to Latter-day Saints. Fascinating stories. Mm -hmm. A lot of it you can't prove. You know, recorded history only goes back to about 1500, and you know that's why there's so much conjecture and speculation and rumor because a lot of it you can't you can't base in any historical fact. But you know, if you want to find out more about Freemasonry in Utah, they have a, a big open house schedule for this weekend at the uh, Grand uh, Temple here in Salt Lake City. It's uh, Saturday between 10 a.m. and 2 in the afternoon. So, who can become a Mason? How tough is it to get involved in this? Uh, women can't. Women are not allowed in the fraternity. And it's not a sure thing, Shawnee. You have to be sponsored by two other Masons, so there's sponsorship there. You have to prove your character. You have to be of good moral character. You, you must meet and open your home to other Masons who come in and interview you and talk to you and make sure you're a good candidate. You have to believe in a supreme being, and you have to be able to pay dues and support your respective lodge, among other things. And then, of course, there's initiative rights and things like that once you get in to the lodge. So, uh, because they're secretive, is it unusual that he was willing to be so candid and to speak out like that? You know, he, he says that, that there's more conjecture and rumor about secrecy when it comes to the Masons. Huh. He, say, he says that people are allowed to go into the temple and actually attend uh, some of their meetings. It's only, it's only when they're taking their specific rights that uh, it's closed off and it's secretive. So he says it's not as secretive as people make it out to be. He says people like to think it's secretive. Uh, it makes for a better story. So Fascinating. Yeah, it is.